In this video, let's see another topic of the chapter matrices which is called as transpose of a matrix. We already have seen many topics such as types of matrices and various numericals related to the matrices. This video is dedicated to this new topic which is called as transpose of a matrix. That means if you have been given a matrix A and that matrix you want to find out the transpose, the transpose would be what? You have to simply interchange the rows and columns. That means the rows in the given matrix will become the columns and the columns in the given matrix will become the rows of the new matrix which is called as the transposed matrix. Let's see, I have written the theoretical approach to it and then we'll see a numerical illustration. Now, what is transpose? Let A is equal to Aij be a m by n matrix. That means we already have a matrix with m rows, n columns. Now, if you want to find out the transpose of this matrix A, it will be denoted as what? It will be given by A dash. This terminology for the upward comma is called as dash. So, it is A dash or A to the power t which is A transpose. So, wherever you find A dash, wherever you find A to the power t, it basically means what? The transpose you are supposed to find out. It is denoted as the transpose of the given matrix. And you know what is the transpose? It means if you have Aij, the transpose would be Aji. If you have m by n order, the transpose would be n by m. So, it is like that only the transposed matrix would be a n by m matrix. That means now the rows are n which were earlier the columns. Now the columns are m which were earlier the rows. So that means you are basically interchanging the rows and the columns. Let's see a numerical illustration to this. I suppose have a matrix A and that matrix is simply a matrix say of 3 rows, 2 columns. The given matrix is 3 rows, 2 columns. It can be anything. So I have something called as this. This is a given matrix which has 3 rows, 2 columns as you can see. And now you are supposed to find out something called as A dash or A transpose. You were given the matrix, you were supposed to find the transpose. What is the answer? Let's see. First thing that you need to consider very importantly that if you have been given a matrix M by N, the transpose is N by M. That means the order changes. So if it is 3 by 2, if it is 3 by 2 where this 3 is your number of rows, 2 is the number of columns. Now what the story is now the matrix has changed to the transpose. M becomes your 2 and N becomes your 3. So this has become your M, this has become your N. Or technically speaking, if things are interchanged, M and N is interchanged. So these things will also interchange in the transpose. The rows are changed to columns, the columns are changed to rows, right? Now, 1, 0 is the first row. But now what happens, the story changes, 1, 0 becomes your first column because it is the transpose matrix. What about the second row? 5, 3, the second row. The story again changes, 5, 3 becomes your second column. Again, what about the next thing? We have 6, minus 9 as the third row. Now it changes to 6, minus 9 in the third column. That means what? We were given 3 rows, 2 columns. We now have two rows, three columns, this is the transpose. Similarly, another numerical illustration, let's see, is a null matrix or any other matrix for that sort. See, the matrix is given by Z and that matrix is given to me as 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, you know, this is a 2 by 2 matrix, which is a null matrix. Everybody knows this. If I'm supposed to find out Z raised to the power T, that means I'm supposed to find out Z transpose. Now, what is Z transpose? It is again what it is simply if it is M, this is your N, interchange them. Since 2 is equal to 2, even after interchanging, you get 2 by 2. This we already know, right? Now, zeros, zeros in the first row. This is your R1. This is the row 1. And this goes to the column 1 this time. And this is your row 2. And this goes to the column 2 this time. You see that these things are identical? Why? Because all the elements of the given matrix were same. So even if you take transpose, things don't change. Things will remain the same only. The rows will change to columns. The columns will change to rows. 
but the elements are actually the same. So even after transpose, you find that the things are same. So Z is equal to Z transpose. When is the given matrix equal to its transpose? This is very important when the all elements are same and the order is such that it is a square matrix then it happens that both the matrices have same transpose and the matrix itself both are same.